I'm Olivia Newton, and I am Chair of Women in Auto Care. Today I will be your MC for our Women in Auto Care Award Ceremony. Recognition and scholarships are two key pillars of our community's mission. And today we will honor our winners of the 2020 Women in Auto Care Awards, our 2020 Grand Prize Scholarship winner, and all of our Automotive Communication Awards winners. Well, this has the distinction of being our first virtual award ceremony. Unchanged is the caliber of women and marketers that we are here to celebrate. The Woman of the Year awards include Auto Care Woman of the Year, Female Shop Owner of the Year, and Auto Care Woman of Excellence. They honor female leaders who have made a significant impact in the auto care industry. Let's kick off the award ceremony with the winner of this year's Auto Care Woman of Excellence. And the winner is Danielle Sonnefeld from N.A. Williams Group. Danielle is the Vice President of Business Development for the N.A. Williams Group and has been with the company for 10 years. Danielle is very passionate about the industry and volunteers her time to encourage, promote, and support the next generation of leaders. She currently serves on the Board of Trustees for the University of the Aftermarket Foundation and is the co-chair of the scholarship program. She also sits on the Auto Care Association's Events Committee and Manufacturers Rep Council. Danielle is a proud member and former board member of Women in Auto Care and has attended every leadership conference for the last 10 years. Congratulations, Danielle. I am so honored, thrilled to be recognized by women in auto care. We're all so fortunate to work in such an amazing industry, an industry that truly is like a family. And like a family, we take care of each other and we invest our time and energy for the greater good of the whole. And like a family, you kind of have that favorite sibling or cousin that you like to hang out with. And for me, women in auto care, they're my tribe. I'm so proud of the work that we're doing to advance, educate, and empower females in our industry. In fact, it's this group that I found my passion. It was about 10 years ago, I went to my first Women in Auto Care conference. I volunteered on the scholarship committee, and I was so excited to find out that we were giving out almost $100,000. No, not 100, $10,000 in scholarships. And now we are giving out that 100,000. So we've made it a long way and truly making an impact on females that wanna come into our business. And for those of you that know me, when I'm passionate about something, I am all in. So my scholarship journey doesn't stop there. I am incredibly honored to represent women in auto care on the board of trustees for the University of the Aftermarket Foundation truly is a foundation that is paving the way for tomorrow's leaders. I was humbled when they asked me to be their co-chair of the scholarship committee, a program that gives out over $600,000 in scholarships to both male and females coming into the business. So I'm in sales and I cannot pass up the opportunity to say if you know someone that is looking to go to school and join our industry, and that could be as a technician, or a business degree, or even an engineer, tell them about automotivescholarships.com. Tell them to apply because the industry wants to support them. So I'd really also like to say thank you to N.A. Williams. We are a leading manufacturer representative firm. I'm really, really fortunate to work for a company that encourages and supports all of our teammates to be involved in the industry. So whether that's an auto care committee or community or going to Washington and talking to your elected officials about truly impactful issues that will affect all of us in the future. They not only support and encourage us, but they lead by example. Our chairman, Roger McCollum, has been very active in the industry and has been on the auto care board of directors. So I'm really appreciative of the opportunity they've given me to give back. So we should all be at Apex right now, which is the biggest and greatest family 
reunion of the year. And if I were there, I would tell each of you, thank you for what you do for our industry. It is the people that make it wonderful. But hopefully next year, we'll all be together. Perhaps I could shake your hand or give you a hug if that's even a thing anymore. But regardless, I wanna say thank you for being my work family. And I hope you all stay safe. Back to you, Olivia. Congratulations, Danielle. Well-deserved. The next category is Female Shop Owner of the Year. This year's winner is known to seek out training for her entire team. Her belief in industry education has been a large influence on how much success and growth her team has experienced over the last few years. The winner of Female Shop Owner of the Year is Kim Arnheimer from CS Automotive. Cool Springs Automotive was started by Kim and her husband back in 2006. They started the company in the back of a warehouse. Fast forward 14 years later, they're the proud owners of a nearly 7,000 square foot facility that includes a 10 bay, eight lift repair shop. Congratulations again to Kim Arnheimer, who joins us now. Olivia, thank you so much. It is such an honor to be the 2020 recipient of the Women in Auto Care Female Shop Owner of the Year. I would like to thank Women in Auto Care, the Auto Care Association, and those who nominated me and chose me to receive this prestigious award. I am very humbled to be among such great female shop owners that have previously received this award. I happen to know many of them and tremendously honor and respect each of them. To be part of this group of esteemed women is really, really quite humbling. So thank you for that. This is not an industry that I chose. The industry chose me and I could not be more grateful. The path has, that has become mine is not just a job or a career, it is my passion. It is my, my desire to see other shops succeed, which greatly benefits the families of those shop owners. It is my desire to see the reputation of the industry change and earn the respect that it deserves. And it's my desire to see that the industry continue to evolve and ch change and welcome even more women and young people into the automotive active market. The CS Automotive family is such an integral part of my own personal journey um, of sharing and teaching. Um, they're, so, they're so diligent in the continued success of CS Automotive that it allows me to venture out and share what I've learned in this industry. Without such amazing group of people behind me, that just couldn't happen. I would also like to thank my husband Rob and my family for their support and for courage, encouraging me uh, to share my passion for this industry, reaching beyond the walls of our own shop. Rob and I are a team, yet he is my biggest cheerleader. Again, thank you so much to Women in Auto Care. I am truly honored to receive this award. Back to you, Olivia. This next award is a Lifetime Achievement Award that is presented to a woman who is a leader, mentor, and role model. She has made significant and outstanding contributions to our industry. The winner of the Auto Care Woman of the Year Award is Lauren Follier of Advanced Auto Parts. Lauren developed a passion for the automotive industry while working for General Motors in the late 1990s and early 2000s. That passion blossomed in the automotive aftermarket when she started working for Auto Part International. She currently works as the Vice President of Professional Marketing for Advanced Auto Part. Over the years, she has served as a mentor to her team. She has also facilitated mentorship of women at Advance through her leadership building their women's team member network. Congratulations, Lauren. I want to thank the Auto Care Association's Women in Auto Care for this amazing award. I'm truly honored and grateful for the nomination and the award that comes from an industry I am truly passionate about. I began my career working at a customer support center for General Motors in Spring Hill, Tennessee. While working at Saturn, I was grateful to have leaders like Randy Hutto, Kelly McIntyre, and Bob and Lott who saw potential in me. 
They invested in my growth and helped me along my career by giving me candid feedback and opportunities to stretch beyond my role. As I took on different roles and moved forward in my career, I strove to be an inclusive and empowering leader, leading and supporting my team and others around me to help them reach and exceed their potential. Helping people move on, move up, or just move through a problem is incredibly rewarding and is a key part of our culture at Advance. A few years ago, I was part of the leadership team who defined our cultural beliefs, one being to champion inclusion. As we worked to establish this belief in our cultural DNA, I was able to launch our first ever team member network, the Women in Motion Network, enabling women of advance to grow professionally in an inclusive environment by establishing opportunities for engagement, like teaching events, speed networking, and mentoring circles. Mentoring circles enabled hundreds of women to connect and learn from senior leaders and key executives on specific topics. The program created opportunities for the mentees to learn, but also for the mentors to get to know women across our organization, enabling cross-functional collaboration and career growth. Being a mentor has shown me the opportunity we have to celebrate amazing women and the incredible contributions they are making as shop owners, technicians, and industry leaders. Women like Audra Wood Oliveo of Dan's Automotive in Spring, Texas, who took over her father's shop and is driving innovation and community engagement. Laura Frank, co-owner of Auto Repair Technology in Brook Park, Ohio, and Leanne Best, who founded Breaks for Breasts that is well on its way to hitting their goal of over a million dollars for breast cancer vaccine research. These women and so many others in the automotive aftermarket are accomplishing great things that make our industry stronger and more productive. Organizations like Women in Auto Care inspire bright, intelligent, and driven women to pursue careers in the automotive aftermarket. Again, thank you Women in Auto Care for your dedication to the advancement, education, and empowerment of women. And thank you so much for this award. Back to you, Olivia. Thank you to all of our Women of the Year. We can't forget to mention the over $100,000 worth of scholarships that were awarded this year to deserving secondary and post-secondary women pursuing careers in the automotive aftermarket. Through the generosity of our sponsors, members, and partners, Women in Auto Care is proud to support 40 women with tuition assistance and tools for 2020. I'm excited now to introduce our grand prize winner, Haley Kowalczak. I am so excited to win this scholarship because growing up, I didn't really know anything about automotive and my parents were in the insurance agency. So I knew about auto insurance, but I didn't know anything about cars. And I saw Northwood University fell in love with the auto show that we have on campus. And that's when I realized this is home and the automotive industry is where I wanted to be for the rest of my life. Um, each year I struggle with not knowing if I can come back to Northwood due to the uh, lack of having money and this scholarship saved me this year. Um, it's just, I didn't think I deserved it. I didn't think I was being recognized and I didn't feel like I was doing enough. The scholarship made me realize that people are watching no matter what you're doing and to keep pushing and keep striving. And that's what I wanna do for other women in the Auto Care Association and just other women in general, no matter what degree and where they're at in life. I just want them to know that they can keep pushing. Um, I started my own group this year after this scholarship because it made me realize that I had more leadership power and I had more in me than I thought. And I started my group called Detroit Speed Demons and it's a car group in out of Metro Detroit. And we started off fully female ran and have you know changed a little bit, but I inspired another group to start fully female ran. And I think it's amazing being that you know leader that can show others that you can accomplish anything especially in a very male dominated role, it is awesome to be that person for others. Thank you again. This has been a tough year for so many. The auto care industry has come together in new ways to serve our communities as essential businesses, to help ensure that young women pursuing aftermarket careers do not see their educational plans derailed by financial challenges. Drive has generously partnered with Women in Auto Care to distribute $35,000 in COVID relief scholarships for the upcoming spring semester. We could not be more excited to make this announcement and we thank our friends at DRIVE for making this possible. 
Now I'm excited to announce that Women in Auto Care will be holding two events for 2021. First, given the uncertainty around large gatherings, we've decided to move back our in-person leadership conference until July of 2021 in Indianapolis, Indiana. Second, we are excited to share that our first Women in Auto Care Week, a virtual conference, will be held in February. More information on both events will be available soon. I sincerely hope to see you at both. Women in Auto Care is excited to present the 2020 Automotive Communications Awards. This year, the awards were judged by volunteers from the Auto Care Association's Marketing and Communications Committee and the Automotive Communications Council. Here's a look at this year's winners. Congratulations.
I'm Olivia Newton with a final congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you for joining us. 